Hello everyone, my name is Megan. Welcome back to Adore Beauty's YouTube channel. I'm part of the social and content team and I'm also a makeup artist. Now today's video is all about five tips and tricks that'll get your makeup lasting all day long on Christmas day. Do you reckon this hat's a bit obnoxious? Should I keep it? Are you into that? It might be distracting. <laughs> so this was originally aimed for Christmas day. It's a really testing day for our makeup, but I have some tips and tricks that will help you. Um, so you can use them for this Christmas day or just anytime you have a really long event. Let's get into it. Tip number one, ditch the face oils. Now, disclaimer, if you're using a face oil underneath your makeup and you're finding that it lasts really long still, you don't get any patchiness, any slipping and sliding, keep doing you and power to you. But if you are applying a face oil and you're finding that your makeup isn't really lasting very long, slipping and sliding throughout the day, get rid of it. When we break it down to a scientific level, water molecules and oil molecules are not made the same. So water molecules are actually heavier and more densely packed than oil molecules, they're lighter. So when you mix the two together, the oil will always float to the top. If we are popping a face oil underneath our makeup, you've usually got a primer over the top of that and then a foundation, which almost always has aqua or water in it. Check your ingredients list. Oh, my voice. <coughs> Check your ingredients list, it'll always be in there. Now, as you start to wear your makeup throughout the day, that oil that we popped on at the very start of the day is going to try and seep through so that it can sit on top of your water-based products. That is when you start to have slipping, sliding, patchiness, and makeup that isn't gonna last all day long. Now I hear you, you're saying, yeah, cool, I'll ditch the oil, but how the hell is my face gonna stay hydrated all day? Reach for something like a hyaluronic acid or a product that's packed with glycerin. That'll give you that really nice boost of hydration without the oily slipping and sliding. A product that I always love to use is the Hydrating Water Fresh Cream by Bobbi Brown. Um, another one that I really love, a hydrating primer that works on pretty much all skin types, is the Napoleon Purtis Autopilot Primer. So these two together, whether you have oily or dry skin, both super hydrating and they will actually help your makeup last longer on the skin. And whilst we're on the subject of primer, I do like to apply it with my fingertips. The warmth of your skin actually warms up the product to help it melt into the face. Um, and you're also able to really massage it in, allow it to dry completely, and then you can go in with your foundation. This is the concealer that I like to use for my eyelids. It's a mattifying formula, which is why I like to use it on the eyelids so that we don't get oily. And then I like to use this concealer underneath my eye. In the past, I have tried applying it with a foundation brush, but I've found that the product gets dragged along my skin rather than being massaged and moisturized in. So that's just my little hot tip. Tip number three is make sure you are setting your face. So powders will always assist um, with locking in liquid and cream products. They will also help with absorption of sweat and sebum throughout the day. The only catch is depending on your skin type, the application of your powder will change. So if you have really oily skin and you know that you secrete sebum pretty much out of every single pore on your face, then go in and powder your whole face so that that is all locked into place. However, if you have um, skin that is on the drier side, I actually just like to apply powder to certain areas of the face. So for instance, I like to use a tapered brush so that I have a little bit more precision with where I'm applying the powder. And I generally will only apply powder underneath my eyes just to kind of set that in place um, because I am prone to fine lines and it kind of bunches up throughout the day. That's just the dynamic lines of my face and I've learned to love them. Another area that I like to apply powder is just underneath the chin because as I'm eating, I guess that area gets a little bit oily and through the T-zone as well. The rest of my face, like through my cheeks and the perimeters of my face, don't really get oily and generally stay on quite well. So there isn't the um, urgent need to be applying powder there. You know your skin best and you know what will work the best. So kind of apply that rule when you're thinking about powder application. One powder that I've been loving lately is the Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Pressed Powder. These come in a few different shades. They have, I would say, medium opacity. And then once they're buffed into the skin, they really just mesh really well with your foundation. Tip number four is try out a setting spray. So this is from Skindinavia and it is called the Makeup Finishing Spray. It helps lock in color to ensure that they stay vivid throughout the day. It really helps to protect against makeup melting off your face in warmer weather, um, but also protects against your makeup drying out in the cooler weather. It has a really nice finish to it. So some sprays can kind of sit on your face and you just feel wet and you really need to wait for them to dry. Whereas this one is just like a fine mist that sits on the face. 
it locks everything in and I really have noticed a difference since using this. Tip number five, last and most certainly not least, refers to our lips. For some reason, this is the first thing that will always come off for me. Um, I must just eat all my lip product off. But I've really found a formula that honestly changed the game for me. So the first thing I like to do is line the lips with a really creamy, waterproof, long-lasting liner. This one is from Eye of Horus, and because I did a red lip today because I was feeling festive, it is in the shade Pure Scarlet, but you can use any shade you like, even if you're doing a really, really nude lip. Lining the lips helps ensure that you don't get color bleed. It makes any products that you pop over the top last heaps longer. And it also creates a really nice border for your lips to make sure that they're looking nice and defined. Now, the next thing I like to do is actually go in with a matte color. Um, now, usually this is some kind of lipstick. Today, I have used Temptress Orange from the Velvet Lips range. Now, the reason why I love this is because the shade really mattes down. And I don't know what it is about matte shades, but they just last so much longer. So once I have that really nice intensity of color underneath, you can go in with a gloss, with a lip balm, anything you like if you really want that shine factor and it'll last 10 times longer than before. Okay, so they are my top five rapid fire tips for long lasting makeup. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any recommendations for long lasting makeup, please pop them in the comments below. And if you create a Christmas look, tag us um, on Instagram at Adore Beauty so that we can see your beautiful face. If you would like a breakdown on beginners makeup tutorial with me, then just click up here. Or if you wanna see our last video, just click over here. Thanks so much for tuning in and I hope you have a beautiful Christmas and we'll see you next time.